Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial on HTML stroke CSS. Now let me point out that a few tutorials ago I said that that may have been the last one. Obviously that was not the last one and there's been several tutorials since then. Now for those of you that don't like these tutorials um, I can guarantee that the there are uh, at some stage I will stop doing CSS tutorials and move on to other stuff but for now um you're stuck with the CSS tutorials I'm afraid um so here we've got a page in HTML it's got all the basic elements and you notice that it's got a style sheet link. Now, what we're going to go over today is the class and ID attributes. Now, how do you style a div? Well, you put a hash sign and then the name of the div in your style sheet. That's what's referencing to the ID attribute. So, what's wrong with putting a paragraph and then give it an ID saying um, red We'll just put it as red and then closing um, that tag. And then we'll just put some stuff in here. Um, red so we're obviously going to put um the background as red right If we now preview this, it has the same effect. So, effectively, all your styling in the div is the ID at attribute. Now, although it works um, when we're styling individual elements like that, we tend to use the class attribute and I'll show you what that looks like instead of putting ID we put class and then the name so we'll have test class with that text in it and I'm just gonna preview it so that you can see that it's not still red there we go so it's, it's taken effect now how do we reference this class because if you've seen my other t tutorials anything with an ID we reference with a pound sign or a hash sign sorry well this is much easier than putting a, a, a hash sign because all we, all we have to do 
is put a dot and then we'll set the background to grey and just to make it easy to see we'll set the colour to red Right, so now let's see what that looks like. It has the same effect as putting it in an ID. So I just wanted to show you that it is actually possible to style individual elements just just using ID attributes and then styling them in your cell sheet. This the same as you would a div but we normally use classes and there's a bunch of different reasons why but I'm not going to go into that now anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video and subscribe if you like my videos thanks for watching